here's meteorologist Helen Holt with your Storm Track 3 forecast. Dark skies offshore as we take a look live on our Stevenson Skyview camera network in Southport. This is looking out towards the ocean and we're seeing a strong thunderstorm just continue to push out offshore and we're just going to have those clouds and mix of sunshine throughout the rest of the evening and a comfortable weekend is in store. So that summer like weather that we've had the last couple of days, that heat and humidity on full blast. Well, we're going to get a break of it as we head into Saturday and Sunday. Highs actually being below average and lower humidity as well. It's going to feel fantastic, but don't worry that heat and humidity will return when we start the summer season on Monday and it looks like it's going to stick around for a few days. So satellite and radar, all the active weather has been just to the south of us. What we're watching is this area of low pressure in the upper levels of our atmosphere and a cold front dragging along with that. And once that cold front sags to the south of us, that's going to give us uh, drier and cooler weather. So on our muggy meter, when you walk outside, we're in that tropical air mass still. But as we go into the weekend, we're going to get pleasant even into dry, dropping those dew points from the middle to upper 70s down into the 50s. Really, guys, it's going to feel like a breath of fresh air when you walk outside. It's not going to be so sticky. So pinpoint future cast, maybe an isolated shower or two this evening. Just a mixture of those clouds throughout the overnight hours and starting out tomorrow morning with upper 60s to lower 70s. Already going to start to feel that cooler air move in in the afternoon, only getting into the lower 80s under mostly sunny skies. Going to feel fantastic out there this weekend. It is going to be on the breezy side. That northeasterly wind, you'll definitely notice it in the afternoon and Sunday morning could actually start out with a few upper 50s for our far inland spots, but overall it's going to feel actually below average for our morning lows and our afternoon highs. Look at Sunday afternoon temperatures right around 80 degrees and no rain in the forecast this weekend. So for Father's Day, if you have any plans outside, you're going to cook out, go to the beach, hit the pool. Fantastic weather for 82 degrees. Still on Sunday, though, we'll have that northeast wind about 10 to 15 miles per hour, but Saturday definitely going to be the breezier of the two days. Lows tonight in the 60s, partly cloudy. North winds about 10 miles per hour. And for our Saturday, 80s in store, mixture of sun and clouds, much more comfortable. But that northeast wind, 15 to 20 miles per hour. You'll notice it if you're down at the beach. Look at that, 20 to 25 miles per hour and a moderate risk for rip current. So if you're getting in that water, make sure you're being extra careful. And if you're wanting to be out in the boat, go ahead, cancel those plans. It is looking rough all weekend. Long small craft advisory in place for coastal waters, even a gale warning for our offshore waters forecast. In looks at the tropics, good news, nothing of concern in the Gulf of Mexico other than this one small area of interest down near the Yucatan Peninsula, but even that only has a 20% chance of development as we continue into the Atlantic hurricane season and temperatures actually uh, warming back up as we go into Monday and Tuesday near 90 degrees once again on Wednesday. So enjoy mm -hmm. this weekend. It's yeah, really going to be nice because that muggy meter is going from here to dial it down. Yeah. I know it's just very nice at least for a, a few days. Okay. All right. Helen, thank you. Helen, get us started. Hey, Daniel. Well, it was another toasty day in the books across southeastern North Carolina. Highs climbing back up into the 90s for several spots. Most areas stayed dry, but we did have a quick downpour move through downtown Wilmington not too long ago. But it's now just a mixture of sun and clouds. And I'll let you know if we can expect rain chances to stick around this weekend and when we'll get a break from the heat. Good evening, Wilmington starts right now. Track 3 forecast. More people starting to head out to Wrightsville Beach as we take a live look on our Stevenson Skyview camera network. A heavy downpour just kind of scared people away from the beach for a little bit. You maybe saw some gusty winds associated with that. If you were in New Hanover County about an hour and a half ago, you can see that storm just raced offshore but it did leave a uh, quite a lot of rain over a short period of time. We are watching just a few isolated showers to the north of us that are tracking towards our area, but I think overall most areas will stay dry this evening. Just going to see a mixture of that sun and clouds throughout the evening hours. All the severe weather has been to the south of us. You can see this line of showers and storms stretching all the way from Mississippi eastward to Charleston and numerous severe thunderstorm warnings. Uh, even some tornado warnings have been issued with this. And this is 
is all associated with a cold front that will sag to the south of us, bringing us drier and cooler weather this weekend, but it's still feeling a whole lot like summer outside right now. 85 degrees in Lumberton in the Port City, 78 degrees when you tack on the high dew point, the humidity level being so high, it actually feels a few degrees higher than our actual temperature. It feels like 88 in Lumberton. Look at Myrtle Beach, feels like 90 degrees when you walk outside and it's going to continue to be kind of a, a muggy and warm evening on tap. A stray storm is possible with sunset right around 830 and temperatures cooling off into the 70s as we go to 11 o'clock. And I think that storm chance is going to be winding down here very shortly. But tomorrow, we're going to head out to the pool. Great day to do so. 80 degrees, partly cloudy skies. I'll let you know how Father's Day is shaping up to be in just a few minutes. Daniel. All right.